Good morning. I hope that as you get ready to begin this Father's Day weekend, this uh, beautiful Friday morning, uh, that you are excited to be alive in Christ uh, and that you're doing new things. Uh, in this time where we've been separated, a lot of us have started doing things we don't do, like watching uh, devotions and producing devotions for YouTube on a daily basis, uh, doing our worship service in a, a live stream format, uh, but there are other things probably, being locked in the house, maybe you're reading more, maybe you're talking more, maybe you're playing games with each other, or maybe you've taken up a new hobby. I know as I think about Father's Day, I can remember my dad working with wood all of my life as a child, and so I've taken up uh, and started woodworking. I would show you something, but uh, it's all pretty hide hideous right now, uh, but I'm learning uh, to do some things with wood and just enjoying that and maybe kind of feeling the presence of my dad uh, as I think about him when I do that. But today, uh, as we look at our um, Disciplines book, uh, it takes us to Romans chapter 6. And in that, it's the idea, the concept that Paul gives us that our eternity begins, or the idea we have that eternity begins when our mortal life ends, but Paul really tells us that as we come to Christ, that we can begin to walk in newness of life, really in the here and now, because there's no longer any dominion over us. That's the word that we get domestic, uh, which kind of means that you're under the authority of the house, and the house that we live in would be the world. Uh, but dominion means lordship or sovereignty, uh, something that reigns over us. And Paul says when we come to Christ that death doesn't reign over us, nor does sin. We, we are no longer under the authority of the law of sin and death. So the question as we are looking at new things in our life is to, to ask ourselves, as a Christian, am I living in that newness of life? No longer living out of fear, but living by trust. No longer living out of scarcity, but living out of generosity. Because God made us for freedom. He did not make us for captivity. He made us to walk in freedom and to walk in that newness of life. So as you've added new things to your life, let me encourage you to walk in that newness that we get in Christ Jesus, as we know that we are no longer subject to fear and death. It no longer has dominion over us, but we submit ourselves to Christ Jesus. The psalm that I get in my uh, daily prayer thing from the Moravian Church, a little email that I get, the psalm today is Psalm 32, which says, I will instruct and teach you the way you should go. So let us look to the Lord that he would instruct and teach us as we walk in newness of life. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend, and God bless you.